Hi, I'm Kabashni, and this is my story. I was born and raised in South Africa. I was born uh, with a with a darker skin tone than uh, any uh, regular kids in my community. The aunts and the uncles would 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 not uh, compliment on how beautiful of a baby I was. You know, uh, they wouldn't say, "Oh wow, she's so beautiful." They would they would actually frown and say, "Oh wow, she's dark." Uh, so the lighter your your skin tone is. Uh, the more beautiful you looked. So I grew up in, in a community where I was seen uh, as unattractive and not beautiful. Growing up with that perception that I was not beautiful actually uh, lowered my self-esteem. I felt unloved. I felt like people out there didn't love me because I wasn't beautiful. In order to be uh, loved, you needed to be beautiful. And even uh, growing up as a teenager, other kids who are lighter skinned than me, I would always feel insecure and always be in the shadows. People would look at me and judge me and comment on me to say, look at her, she's, she's so dark and she's so ugly. You know, I had suicidal thoughts frequently. I didn't feel, uh, you know, beautiful inside. I felt ugly on the inside and on the outside. At the point when I was having and I was so down and, and, and you know, sad and uh, in my life was when uh, I almost felt there was like this guardian angel watching over me because that's when my sister married this Christian guy and uh, during that period he approached me and he says, you know, come to this youth and he, he he would have never known my feelings and uh, of unworthiness. He would have never, because I never shared that with anyone. My sister, my older sister married a Christian guy and he, out of the blue, he came to me and he says, come out to this, uh, you know, come up to this youth, uh, youth camp, uh, you'll have fun. And so, uh, so I said, oh, I'm doing nothing this weekend. So, uh, you know, let me go hang out. My perception of Christianity was actually not good at all. The pastors back home in South Africa used to manipulate people into believing in, in Jesus, that you are going to hell and you should follow Christianity. Christians would uh, intimidate people in such an extent that they would instill fear in them. Christians perceived themselves to be um, all holy, uh, however, never practiced. I, when I entered the camp, uh, there were these kids that were joyful and happy and excited and hugging me and, uh, and I felt almost like an acceptance when I entered the camp. From then on, it was, uh, we were involved in activities and uh, I think I lost focus of my feelings of unworthiness and I felt included. On the last day of camp, I went in uh, to the service and it was just a different type of service that night. Uh, it, everybody was singing and clapping and jumping and uh, excited and, uh, and I, I found myself also, uh, you know, clapping and, and jumping and screaming and excited and, uh, and then I started weeping uh, uncontrollably because all these emotions uh, of unworthiness, uh, you know, had filled me. The pastor uh, called, uh, he gave, you know, he asked uh, if anyone in the room would want to accept uh, God into their lives. And so something drew me to actually go, you know, forward and raise my hand. And he started praying and I accepted God in my lives. And again, I started, uh, you know, uh, crying uncontrollably again, you know, and I just felt at that moment, I just felt God's love. I just, those, those thoughts of unworthiness like disappeared, it just disappeared. It's something that, it's it's funny when I share the story because it 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 feels like it's I I'm lying but oh I'm not you know it feels like it's a movie but it actually that day it felt like I was in this movie it was felt like I was having this transformation when I when I accepted God's love in my life you know that day in church uh, and I could feel His His love I started reading the Word of God and started finding out what Jesus is all about and what sacrifice he made for us. And 
uh, learning about this man who came on earth and uh, made this ultimate sacrifice for us humans out here, you know, he, he owed nothing to us. Like God owes nothing to us, you know. God had showed himself through this man and, and it was real. A person will sacrifice his life for mine uh, is something that's just, uh, it's unbelievable. It's something that I don't think any human being will uh, ever do that like that's that's the ultimate love you know that's ultimately like God's love right there that a human being can sacrifice his his life for us